The discussion around menstrual equity is growing at schools in the TLDSB. Later this month, students will be encouraged to bring menstruation products to donate to local charity organizations around various communities. It's part of an overall strategy to open the conversation about menstruation, a term that may not have had as much play just a few decades ago. And I think it, it's a student issue. It's also a staff issue, right? I mean, I grew up in a time when people didn't have protected maternity leaves. Uh, we also don't talk about the challenges of menopause. Uh, and, and so people with menstruation are dealing with all of these things along, and this has sort of been the silent piece. We, we've had workplace legislation that sort of touched the other parts of that, and, and so this is exciting to, to work on this part, I think. But now that schools are providing free menstrual products and the discussion around menstrual equity is growing, TLDSB G7 student trustee Alexia Evans-Turnbull says it's giving her hope for the future of students going through school and dealing with this part of puberty and life for young women. Being that menstrual equity affects, I'd say, over a little over 50% of the population, it's still a stigmatized topic to this day, which is something that shouldn't happen when most people uh, experience menstruation, like around 50%. So for me, it was really just about creating that equity and um, just helping the stigmatization around menstruation. The Menstrual Equity Challenge runs through May 27th, and Evans Turnbull says she's rallying the troops at Huntsville High School to be prepared to give back. So in terms of my school, we've been in the process of promoting the Menstrual Equity Challenge. We put up a video, and I'm going around to people being like, hey, remember to bring in your products. And... As far as this, we haven't shown the video yet. We're doing that next week, but I'm sure next week there will be a lot more talk around it.